I've already done it. You broke me. One upload. One time showing my face. One time. I break down my walls. I let go of my insecurities. And I show you guys my face. And you couldn't even behave yourselves. I thought I'm at least safe from my own viewers. But I was wrong. You guys called me a fucking ginger. You guys have bullied me into wearing a beanie. And I don't support it. I was ready for anything. You could have attacked my teeth, called them crooked, or my massive pimple on my head, or my crusty ass skin, or my weird nose, anything. But you guys chose to call me fucking ginger. I'm not fucking ginger. Anyways, how's it going boys? So Falcon and the Winter Soldier came out a couple of days ago and I'm sorry, I'm a bit late. I was busy setting up this whole camera thing, I was busy uploading some of my past videos i didn't have time so yeah i know i'm like four days late don't worry for episode two the video will be up on friday the same day don't worry and every week from now on i'll be good at this okay just leave me be i know i'm late but even though i'm late doesn't mean i can't still talk about this episode because i liked it and i want to talk about it so fuck you thing is there's not really much to go into it's one episode out of six you can't really properly review a TV show with only one episode, but I can still share my thoughts on it. Because I actually think it has a lot of potential. It's a much more typical pilot than, say, WandaVision, because that was so new and so unexpected. Well, not unexpected, we'd seen it from the trailers, but it was so unorthodox. This just feels so much like the first episode of an action thriller drama series, you know? And that's what it is. So it makes sense. But yeah, it's nothing special. It's not like, oh, this has the potential to be the next Game of Thrones. But it does have potential to be really fucking good. And I have a feeling that I'm really gonna enjoy this. I'll admit, I wasn't really that excited for it. Both Sam and Bucky are characters that I didn't really care about much before this. I mean, I liked them. I liked their involvement, I liked their interactions with other characters, I liked how they were part of the story, but they weren't really characters that I engaged with at the same level as some of the others. And I'm not just talking about Steve and Thor and, and Iron Man. Was it just some of the side characters, you know? They weren't my favorite side characters. But that was just me. They were still good characters, I just didn't have much personal involvement in their story. But so far, this show has already changed that. At least for one of them. So by far, my favorite part of this first episode was Bucky Barnes. For me, he is no longer just the catalyst to Steve Rogers' character arcs. He's an actual character for himself. And listen, he was that before. I liked the Winter Soldier. I liked his character development so far. However, this is just so much deeper. First of all, I'm glad they brought back the Winter Soldier theme. Because that's one of the most iconic and most sinister themes that I've ever seen in a movie. It's creepier than most tracks in like horror movies. I love it. But yeah, all these nightmares and flashbacks about being the Winter Soldier and how it affects him psychologically, that shit's entertaining. It's fun to watch. It's part of the reason why I really like Iron Man 3. I love the psychoanalysis of Tony Stark, and I really, really, really hope we get something similar in this series. I really hope they just expand upon it, and I hope it's written so well, because Bucky deserves it from all the hate, from all these people who just don't give him enough credit, like me. They're setting up this whole arc with him making amends, but he can't. He can't face this old man because he knows he killed his son. That shit's deep. There's so much potential for a complex and deep story. And I'm so excited. I like Bucky now. I wouldn't have said that before I watched it. I didn't think I'd be saying this after one episode. I thought I'd be saying it after the entire series, or at least after like three episodes. Not after the first one. He was easily my favorite part of the episode. I liked Bucky. However, Sam is definitely not just pushed aside. I liked his story too. He maybe was a bit underwhelming in like the middle section of the episode in the scenes with his sister. Maybe it's just because she was such an overpowering presence. Feminism bitch. And yeah, compared to Bucky, I didn't engage with Sam's character as much. But it's just one episode, I'm sure he's gonna get so much better. Because they still set up a good character arc. The whole storyline of him not really feeling like he's worthy of being Captain America is interesting. It's not out of character and it's not just bratty. It's not the whole, oh, I'm a bit too scared to live up to his presence. No, it makes perfect sense. He's not Steve Rogers. He's not that kind of soldier. He doesn't pick up the shield because he knows no one can ever live up 
to Captain America. No one can be Steve Rogers, not even him, no matter how hard he tries. I'm really excited to see how he gets out of it, if he does. Oh, so is this new Captain America dude, like, strong? Is he a superhero? Is he, like, powerful? Or is he just some dude? I don't know which one I'm hoping for more. He's probably just gonna be some random person. Because I feel like the government just wants a symbol. He doesn't need to be super. The people just need Captain America, whether he's actually Captain America or not. I mean, we already know that there's gonna be other villains, like Zemo. So yeah, this guy's probably not gonna be the next Homelander, but I hope. But as of right now, I don't really have many negatives. I mean, it's way too early to tell. There are some stuff that could end up being negatives if they're not expanded upon, but it's only after episode 1. After we get maybe halfway, I can start talking a bit about the things that I don't like. But so far, I think this was a really good first episode. And I can honestly say, I'm excited for episode 2. This doesn't usually happen to me when watching TV shows. I'm often hooked after like 7 episodes. Even WandaVision only had me proper engaged after episode 2, so I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier succeeded. If all else fails, then at least the pilot was great. I'm excited to see more of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But tell me what you guys thought about the episode down in the description. If you want more, do you kinda not care, or something else? Some different opinions, a different perspective. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you either tomorrow or in a couple of days with the Snyder Cut video. So look forward to that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.